So hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today my friends I'm very happy to present you here another build guide on Power of Exile and this time it is about our Cyan Flame Cyclone build. Uh, it is the build that I am using so far on this leak and I'm pretty happy uh, with it because we have done serious with it. We really uh, kill tier 16 maps like pretty easily as you can see on the on the screen and uh, yeah. Uh, I have uh, based my uh, build or this build on the link that I have found and I will uh, also copy paste it under the, the video description and uh, I'm gonna also uh, paste the path of building links that means the one the first one is gonna be the official one and the second is gonna be for the power of building uh, community version or also called the fork version so uh, for the program of this video it's gonna be like starting with pros and cons then we will go for skill gems okay the skill gem section then gear plus flasks then we will go for skill tree and remainings and then as fifth point how i play it and finally we will end up this video with a tier 16 uh, complete um, gameplay map okay on the normal map without any uh it's it's gonna just be normal no just up and stuff okay so that you see it how it looks like okay um let's not talk uh, much more and let's go for the first uh, section of this um build guide so for the first section of this uh, build we are gonna talk about the pros and the cons of this build and we are gonna start with the pros the first thing it is a budget build why am i saying that because um the, the whole f the stuff that we have is really not expensive the most expensive thing that we have on this build is really this uh the chest this uh, the exploded chest with uh, minus 15 to total mana cost for the rest it is really not that um that expensive and what is a very big plus point is that we don't need a six linked uh, weapon um it, it is all only needed like six sockets that's all you don't have to link it that's very very important and yeah there are some exalted orb that you can uh like save okay so it is also a great leak starter if you want to use it then the second thing is that this is a fast build i'm talking about the movement speed if you check under the defense you see movement speed modifier 68 and it goes up to it because we have some notes also for 45 whenever we have 45 that means every time uh, you have five percent plus and so on and so on so it's very fast you will you will see that you are faster than other people normally you know uh, you're faster than 90 percent of people uh, not using headhunter okay the th uh, third thing is it it has a lot of fa it is very good for clearance okay because we are using first the molten burst of our uh, weapon that's the first thing and we got the explodey chest so you will see like your enemies like pop up all groups like uh, just being like exploded it's really really nice to see also that's also a big plus um, it is really fun to play okay this build um, then um, it is perfect with Aura, okay? I have played uh, some maps already with Aura, especially this build. I don't know why it really feels great. It feels better than with any other build that I have done so far uh, when I'm playing with an Aura. Like, really try it out if you can. And then we are now going uh, for the cons of this build. The first thing, it has a really bad single target okay it is a nice build i would say like if you want to go for mines if you want to like do maps very fast but serious or any other big boss you will have some troubles to um, to make damage because uh, yeah this build is really not good at single target if you don't have a, a, an aura with you okay then it is very expensive to mi uh, min max if you check now my build you will see you can copy it pretty much for let's say 10 exalted orb 
to 15 ex uh, uh, exalted drop you should have everything you want okay but if you want now to go further to get the mo moral maximum life or you want more damage and stuff you will have to uh, spend a lot okay and then the third thing and the last thing you can do two mods okay two uh, map mods sorry this first if it's the map uh, the map mod no uh, life or mana leech and the second one elemental reflection those are the two mods that you can't do for the rest that's all i can say about the pros and the cons and now let's go for the skill gems so and now for the skill gems there is not much to say um, we are using six um, gems okay six uh, support gems on our weapon that are gonna connect with the molten bursts on your weapon that means the fire penetration the greater multiple projectile support then elemental damage support then conk effect support combustion uh, support and vicious projectiles support okay those are the six uh, gems that you will use that means you will have seven uh, linked weapon because you have your molten burst already on your weapon so and then we will have the infernal cry with leap slam with ancestor war chief and berserk okay all of them level 20 also on your your axe all the gems on level 20 with 20 quality you can go on then we will uh, use on our uh, chest we will use a six linket also with cyclone okay on 21 20 you can go for 21 23 but for me it is not that important to have 1% increased area of effect since you have uh, your exploded chest. And there you can also like save 3 uh, exalted orbs, okay, from 2120 uh, 20 to 2123, okay. So go for this one, it's more than enough. Then we have infused channeling, fortify support, rage support. It's the only one that is not level 20. I'm sorry. Then pulverized support and awakened elemental damage. That's very, very nice. Then here, pay attention. On our gloves, we will use precision. I have it level 19. Okay, you can use level 20 if you can manage to have a bit more mana than me. Uh, wave of conviction, level 7 quality 20% but level 7 very important then you will have your steel skin it doesn't matter level 20 is more than enough and very important your cast one damage taken on level 1 okay that's very important to pay attention to wave of conviction to 7 and cast one damage taken to 1 okay that's very very important to keep in mind and then on lastly we will use flammability um, on our pair of boots with blasphemy support with herald of ash and blood and sand okay those are the gems that we are using on our build but if you copy paste our pa uh, path of building uh, link you will see it by yourself very calmly so now let's go for the gear and the flask let's go So my friends and now let's talk about the gear and the flasks the first thing and that's the most important thing on this build it is our weapon i'm gonna just say it once the name of this ngamau's flame abyssal uh, axe yeah now uh, you are laughing whatever uh it's very uh, important to have it okay because we are um like our build is based on this uh, weapon and it's a, not an expensive weapon uh, you should for 100 chaos i would say you can have a perfect one okay you will have just to uh, to six socket it and it's all done okay then we have our devoto okay because it's a very nice one we have dexterity we have our increased attack speed we got uh increased movement speed very very important okay um 
what I don't have because it's very expensive. Uh, there's an enchantment uh, cyclone enchantment, whichever you can have, like the attack speed, the cyclone increased cyclone attack speed or increased cyclone damage. It doesn't matter which one you have. It is a big bonus if you can afford it. It is very expensive. That's why I don't have it yet. Then we got Xov's blood uh, because of Avatar of Fire and uh, fire uh, penetration. That's the one that we have as amulet. Shouldn't be also very expensive to have a perfect one. I would say like one or two exalted orbs and you're good to go. Then on rings, what we will want is increased fire damage. Very important. And then fire damage to attacks and increase elemental damage to attacks. Okay, attack skills. Uh, this is the offensive ones that we want on both of them. Okay, if you check it, you see that I have both are pretty similar. And then we have life and resistance if we can afford it. Then now let's go for our uh, chest. I'm using an exploded chest. For me, it's very nice to have, but normally your molten burst is gonna is gonna do the 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 AOE um, damage that you need. But I love exploded chests because they pop like the the enemies pop, and it's really nice to see. And very important, very important is the socketed attacks have minus fifteen to total mana cast, so you never you never uh, you're never out of mana okay uh, if you're using cyclone it's very important for me you know um, because then i can like level up my precision what is very important also uh damage booster then on our pair of gloves as always we are uh, using spike gloves with increased melee damage implicit very important then we have physical damage to attacks and fire damage to attacks and attack speed okay increase attack speed if you have those three you're good to go then life and cold resistance then we have a stygian wise what is amazing because we can then use as you can see a murderous eye jewel with uh, fire damage to attacks and physical damage uh, physical damage to uh, attacks if you can afford you can have some life also what is very nice and the stygian wise as you can see big life and then uh, some resistances if we if we need them and increase elemental damage with attack skills what is also very important and lastly on our gear we are using a movement speed uh, boots pair of boots with 30 percent at least then some resistance and some life if you can use as you can see my gear is not on top on top on top uh, but it's gonna be very uh, costly if we want to mid max uh, those uh, this gear that I'm using then we are using as you can see we are using um, a divine life flask with remove shock on use and one with removes freeze and chill on use very important and what is very very important that saved so many times my life is instant recovery when on low life try to have on both of them it's a lifesaver believe me what i'm telling you then very important our quicksilver for our movement speed with remove burning on use then our critical strike chance is lucky very important also to keep um our i'm gonna just tell you our elemental overload all the time up okay and then lastly, our Dying Sun Ruby Flask. There are some, some other that are better, but also more costly. I would say this is more than enough uh, to use uh, for this build. Then what could we say about our gems on our... Um, in our skill tree there is not much to say we are always using the same increased fire damage with increased maximum life and increased attack uh, speed that's pretty much what we are using on all of our jewels i can show you the second one as you can see increased fire damage attack speed maximum life and increased projectile damage this is a huge one but also um, good luck to find uh, similar ones but as you can see, uh, what we are using is always the same. Attack speed and maximum life, very important. Then you will 
take or fire damage or increase damage or if you can have both even even better and that's pretty much what i can say about the gear and the flasks let's go for the skill the skill tree and the remainings So and now let's talk about the skill tree and the remainings, pretty much there is not much to say about it, you just have to copy paste the power building and just um, follow up the way, um, but what is very important about uh, this build is actually as always the major points uh, of this, um, this skill tree, it is the point blank, the iron grip, then the call to arms and lastly we are gonna go for elemental overload okay um what is also like something that i want to point out whenever you're playing cyclone builds use those three notes those are very important to sustain your mana and your life really and the fortify support like those nodes are so 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 op uh, always use them and then the rest you will pretty much just copy it and you're good to go especially this is like a, um, a skill tree uh, at level 92 if you can manage to get to level 94 i would even use those two the versatility uh, note here okay then i have forgotten to talk about it about three points actually Okay, is the anointment of your amulet use tenacity? I know it is the most expensive um, note that or uh, uh, annulment, anointment, sorry, not annulment, anointment that you can have because you will use like two golden oils with one silver. I know it is very um, expensive, but it's very nice and it's gonna boost your build. Then there, there are there are two more things that i want to say is if you can afford uh, on your spike gloves you can afford uh cooling strike it is very 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 nice because uh, or especially to um to fight serious uh, cooling strike is really a big big plus and if you can't afford this exploded chest or the astral plate with the the right things or mods on it you can also use a belly of the beast uh, if you want to go more defensive and if you can afford a six link it you can also go for the belly of the beast these are those are two things that i forgot to tell you when we were talking about the gear and then on the remainings pretty much the pantheon we are using the soul of the brand king the major god it's gonna be this one because of the stun recovery and on the minor god we are gonna go for the life flask the three charges every three seconds and the increased life recovery what is very nice because we are pretty much using two life flasks uh, that really really are important for this build because yeah you are a bit squishy okay so and now let's go for how i play it let's go so and uh, now let's talk about how i play this build actually it's very simple uh science it is a cyclone build or every of my cyclone builds are easy to play um before we even start we are just gonna activate our four auras it is the precision okay then the flammability the herald of ash and lastly blood and sand that we will use the red stance okay or the blood stance how uh, it's it's called okay then we can clear this slot and we are good to go until we die the next time then still skin on our left click as always it is a defense uh, skill that we are have we have as bonus signs we don't have to pay attention whenever i click on left i am using that okay then cyclone uh, skill on our middle uh, button okay then leap slam our movement skill to go around okay and what is very important is our ancestor war chief whenever we know okay now we are fighting a boss or we will spend some time on the same area we put our ancestor war chief up and it's gonna be a booster for our damage 
okay and then berserk and infernal cry that we are always using whenever it's ready to use as uh, i mean berserk and infernal cry okay it is really a booster but uh, for berserk we will have to um to collect rage and uh, infernal cry whenever we can just use it when you're fighting then normal the divine life uh, the, the divine life flask you will use whenever you need them movement speed all the time to be faster diamond flask and dying sun whenever we need to boost our damage a little so that's how we play it it's not more than that so let's go now for a gameplay of a tier 16 map let's go So and now for the gameplay, uh, we are gonna just use our card map tier 16, okay, as you can see normal, so that we are just gonna, or you can just compare this build with something else if you want, so let's go, let's enter, I hope it's not gonna bug too much, so as you can see, there is not much to do, you just go through the whole map calmly as you can see and you see that this uh, build is fast okay but you will see where this build is uh, lagging it is at a single target whenever we get to the boss or you see that um, that a, a mob is a bit more tanky you will see that we are lagging a bit on 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 damage but you see the that it's really really nice to play um, when you're clearing out the maps okay because the look they pop like pretty much and here we are at the um, the boss fight it is as it's decent decent damage as you can see it's nothing special you know that's why I'm saying that uh, the single target is not great. Um, but that's it. I mean, uh, I'm just gonna kill this. And now I'm just gonna leave this this uh, map. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I think you saw enough. And that was it for this build guide, my friends. I hope you can like copy this i hope that you will use it um if you do please let me know how it worked for you okay if it was uh, a nice build or you're gonna say all oh, diaz what the fuck is this trash build that you're just recommending us um yeah for the rest if you have as anything to tell me like saying okay you could have changed that or this it would like boost your your bit let me know if you have any other idea or something you want to tell me don't hesitate on comment for the rest don't forget to like and uh, to subscribe for more and uh, yeah i hope to see you on the next stream on twitch on our channel or even on the next video so bye bye my friends love you bye